Hi, in this video, we'll be talking about advanced use of the instrument window inside of Mixcraft. The instrument window has many options under the hood, allowing you to quickly and easily explore some powerful sound design possibilities within a single window. Not only can you stack different instruments together, but you can also add key split or velocity based instruments and even add effects to the instrument rack directly. To begin, let's click on the change instrument button here on the default acoustic piano. Here we have the basic instrument window. To access all of the advanced settings, we'll go down here and select Show Details. Within the Instruments section, we can add multiple instruments to a single instrument track. We can explore different synthesizers and virtual instruments by opening the Synth section here. Within the Preset window, we can access the individual presets for that instrument. Let's begin by changing this to a cello. To the right of that, we can manage the volume and the panning of that instrument. Next up, we have the Range Control, which allows us to designate a specific range on the keyboard that will trigger that instrument. Next up here is the transpose function which allows us to transpose that instrument based on semitones. To the right of that is the velocity which allows us to set this instrument to only be triggered by certain velocity ranges, and then finally the output section which is only available for instruments that have individual outputs. To begin stacking instruments, let's go to select synth here, and we'll select the acoustic instruments, and then find a new preset. In this case, maybe we could stack our cello with a choir sound. Now, let's pan these instruments out by using the pan control here. If we play this now, you'll hear that the cello is off to the left-hand side and the choir is off to the right, and we're triggering both sounds at the same time. To take this one step further, let's add one more layer using a glass viper, and then we'll find an interesting pad sound here. The Glass Viper instrument's pretty loud, so let's turn that down a little bit using the volume control here, and then finally play our stacked instrument. Now, let's say we want to use the Glass Viper on the lower side of our keyboard and the other instruments on the upper side. Let's change this by changing the range here. We'll set this with the Set by Mouse control, and set this from C1 up to C3. Now, let's change our instruments here to go from C-sharp 3 up to maybe C7. Now, we've created a key split instrument where the lower hand will play the glass viper sound and the upper hand will play the two instrument stacks with the cello and choir. Let's give it a play and see how it sounds. One last thing to cover here is the effects, which allows us to add an effect directly to the instrument itself without having to use the effect slots on the track. We can select an effect here. In this case, let's maybe find a nice reverb. And then we can select a preset here. Let's go for a large hall. To make this slightly more interesting, let's also add a delay. Now we've set up our instrument to have three different instrument layers that are key split, as well as two effects stacked directly onto the instrument. Let's take a listen to the final result. At this point, you should have a better understanding of how to use the instrument window inside of Mixcraft to create key split instruments, transpose individual layers, create velocity split instruments, as well as add effects directly to the instruments. That wraps everything up for this video, so thanks for watching.